Are you wanting to use social media to help you promote and market your digital products, but you are struggling to find the time and stay consistent? Well, stay tuned, my friend, because in this video, I'm going to show you how you can batch schedule your social media content to help you save time and stay consistent. Hey friends, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, my name is Tisha and I'm here to teach you how to create and sell digital products using online tools. Now this video is actually part two uh, of a two part video series. In part one, I showed you how you can batch create your IG reels using ChatGPT and Canva. If you missed that video, I'll be sure to link it down below so you can catch it. Now for everyone who has been waiting for part two, I sincerely apologize for the delay. I was busy being a mom and time just got the best of me. That's why I love using tools that help me save time and help me do the things I need to do in my digital product business. Now that tool that I'm talking about today guys is Metro Cool. Now if you've never heard of Metro Cool, let me put you on. Metro Cool is a free social media management tool where you can plan and schedule out your social media content all from one place instead of having to log into multiple social media accounts. Therefore, it's going to help you save that time and stay consistent. All right. So now that you know a little bit about Metro Cool, now let me show you how to use it. Okay, friends, once you have created your free Metro Cool account, it's going to bring you to your dashboard and the first thing that you will need to do is to connect your social media accounts that you want to use with metro cool you can connect a web page or blog a facebook page this actually has to be a page and not your personal account a instagram page which also has to be a professional business account you can connect threads twitter you can connect linkedin but that is only available with the premium account Pinterest, TikTok, you can actually connect a personal account or a TikTok business account. It gives you both options. Um, just keep in mind that if you connect a TikTok personal account, some features with Metro Cool may not be available to you. So I want to point that out a little bit later in this tutorial. Okay. You can also connect your Google business YouTube and Twitch. If you are running ads on Facebook, Google, or TikTok, you can manage your ads from your Metro Cool account as well. And just scroll down just to finish showing you the menu. You have the option to um, create monthly reports. However, this is a premium feature. Next is hashtag tracker. You can track your hashtags to see if they are bringing you leads. In order to do this, you do have to pay for this option. And then the last section is your brand settings. And this again, is just shows all of the different accounts that you can connect to Metro Cool. Okay, now as you can see, I've already connected some of my accounts. So once you first log in, yours may look a little bit different. You may see it look like this. Another way to get to your connections, you wanna go to the top right, click on this menu, and then select connections and then it just brings you back to again the different pages that you can connect with metro cool okay once you connect your accounts anytime you log into metro cool you're going to see a summary of your analytics and you can simply just scroll down to view all of your analytics if you wanted to see an individual social media account you would simply just click on that account and it will show you only the analytics for that particular account now keep in mind that i believe that you're only limited to the last 30 days with the free account if you wanted to see beyond that you will need to upgrade to the premium account the next section of your dashboard is your inbox now this inbox feature is really cool so if you have those multiple platforms that you are managing you can reply to all of your comments and dms from one section again this is a time saver because you're not having to go to those different platforms to respond to your followers. The next section is your planning section and your calendar section. We're going to come back to that because that's where we're going to spend the bulk of 
this tutorial. Next is Smart Links. Metroclue actually gives you the availability to create your own link page. So think of this as like a link tree. So if you want to create a link page to link out to your digital products, other content, or a blog, you can create that within Metroclue. And then this last section of your dashboard are your ads. This is where you will manage your ads campaigns with Metrocool. Now let's get into the reason why you need Metrocool and that is planning. So you want to click on the planning icon, which looks like a calendar. And here is your calendar view. And basically you can think of Metrocool as a way to create your social media content calendar. You're able to see all of your social media content in one place. Right now, this is a calendar overview. I've added some things here just so you guys can kind of see what that looks like. So you will always see your time zone. This is the dates. You can change these dates if you want to scroll back or scroll forward. You're able to do that. This funnel section, you want to make sure that all of these are selected. Okay. So the three icons, it can change your calendar view. So if you wanted to view only a day or a week, you have the option to do that. You can import a CSV file or export a CSV file. And also if you have your Instagram connected, you can see your feed preview. Okay. Now my favorite feature of Metro Cool is this best times feature. One question that always gets asked is what is the best time to post on social media? And Metro Cool actually estimates that time for you in order to see the best times you will need to change your calendar view to either day or week okay and you can toggle on the to show percentages so the lower or the lighter the color is the least likely time to post the darker or higher the percentage is the most or the best time to post and i think this feature is really great to help you strategically plan out your social media content. Now these best time suggestions are based on your audience and your followers. So for everybody, this is going to look different, okay? Now if you wanted to switch to another platform and see the best times for each platform, you simply just click on the drop down menu and select the platform that you wanna view. Now remember I told you that with TikTok personal account, some options, will not be available, and this is one of them. In order to see the best times to post on TikTok, you will need to have a TikTok business account. And for me, I do plan to implement Metro Cool into my toolkits and on my daily tools that I use. So I'm considering switching my personal TikTok account over to a business account so I can see the best times to um, post on my TikTok. Now let's create a post. Click on create a post and it's going to open up the create a post editor. You see that I have some grayed out and some highlighted. So that means that whatever ones you have highlighted, that is the particular platform that this piece of content is going to post to. If you want it to only post to a particular one, you just deselect and only select that one that you want it to post to, or you can select all of the posts. So with certain platforms, you have multiple ways that you can post to that platform. So for instance, with Facebook, we can do a post, we can do a reel or a story, the same thing with Instagram. So you can actually select the type of post or the type of content that you're posting to that particular platform, okay? This edit by network, this allows you to create like a base template that's gonna uh, post across all of the platforms that you have highlight it. So when you're writing your captions, you know that depending on the platform, the character limit for each platform is a little bit different. It's okay because Metro Cool will show you the character limit for that particular platform. So here's where you can add your caption. This option is where you can add your media. So you can select to upload an image or a video. Metro Cool has a stock library of images videos and gifts and they also have story templates so if you wanted to take a look at that you simply just click on it and review it okay next is a little emoji icon so if you want to add emojis to your posts you can do that you can um search popular hashtags um i do believe this feature is only available with the premium plan 
You can add a first comment. You can add a location. Next is their text generator with AI. So it's basically their built-in chat GPT. So if you wanted assistance or AI assistance with writing out your text, you can test that out to help you write your captions. This next option is to save text. So this is if you have, you can use this option to save your hashtags and any type of text that you use often. Now let's add some media so I can show you guys. Let's say we wanted to do all reels and shorts. All right. So let's find a video to upload. Once you upload your content, you do have the option to edit it. If you want to tag people, if it's a product, you can tag it on Instagram. Um, you can also upload a video thumbnail for Instagram. If you want to tag the audio and then if you want to delete it, you can delete it. Once you've added your captions and you've selected all of the platforms that you want this piece of content to post to, this panel over here on the right is like a preview of that particular piece of content and you can just select each platform to give you a preview of what that would look like on that particular uh, platform. Now keep in mind, this is not an exact preview, it's just, it's a preview, okay? One thing that I want you guys to be aware of, if you want to use Metro Cool to post video content like Reels and TikTok, just keep in mind that those video posts will need to have original audio. You will not have access to the audio library of those platforms. This is not a restriction of Metro Cool. This is actually a restriction of those particular platforms. They normally do not allow third party platforms to have access to their audio library. So you won't get access to like those trending sounds and trending audios. Now, once you have all of your information, you previewed it and you think it's good to go, here at the bottom is where we can actually schedule it out. You click on the date and the time. You simply select your time. You can just click on the little drop down and you select AM and PM. Again, it's gonna show you your particular time zone. And then once you select your time, then you can select your dates. So to schedule it, you can actually just hit the schedule option. I just want to quickly show you the drop down menu. You also have the option to save it as a draft or go ahead and publish it at the moment you finish creating your content and it's going to post to all of the platforms that you have selected. So let's go ahead and hit schedule. So once you schedule out your post, you're going to see it on your calendar and it's going to look a little bit like this and you're going to see which platforms that that particular piece of content is going to get posted to. Now, after you schedule your content, if you don't see these tiles on your calendar, what you need to do is go back here to this funnel, make sure everything is selected. So let me just show you guys right quick. So if you only have a few of these selected, you wanna hit select all, hit apply, and then it's going to show you that. So I had that issue and I actually had to um, figure that out. And I wanted to make sure I let you guys know that. And so basically, guys, it only took us a couple of minutes to create content for five different platforms to create our own social media content calendar. Okay, friends, I've just shown you how you can batch schedule your social media content using Metro Cool. There's no reason why we shouldn't be leveraging social media to help us promote and market our digital products. Metro Cool is going to be a game changer in helping you stay consistent with your social media content. And remember guys, consistency is a key element to being or to having a successful digital product business. If you plan to use Metro Cool for your social media needs, let me know in the comments by typing the word Metro Cool. And if you guys have any questions, you can leave those down below as well. For more ways that you can promote and market your digital products, be sure to check out the video that's on your screen. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.